Hello and welcome back to Think Wonky. My name is Colette Stevenson and today I'm going to be showing you how to hand draw fire in Canva. If you like or enjoy this content, don't forget to show me that you like by clicking like. And if you haven't already, please click subscribe. Let's go. Hand drawn fire in Canva. Yep, I drew this. Start with a dark background and open the draw tool. Go to the three dots at the bottom and click the draw beta icon. Select pen, set color to red and draw a rough fire outline. It doesn't have to be gorgeous or perfect. In fact, the less perfect it is, the better. Add some embers and use the erase tool to just refine the shape. Using the marker tool, fill the shape leaving some gaps. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Use the Erase tool to refine the edges. Add some flames and make it slightly unpredictable. Remember that fire kind of flows, almost like a liquid. Add a few more embers and click Done to create a layer. Trace inside the flame with orange, making sure to leave a red outline. Then fill. It doesn't have to be perfect and it works great if some red is peeking through. Use the eraser tool to refine and add some floating bits of orange. Click done to create another layer. Repeat the process with a bright yellow. Trace inside the orange shape. Leave or add some gaps where the darker colors can peek through creating bubbles on the inside of the flame. Select the glow pen in the same bright yellow and trace the edges of the flame. Do not fill the shape. You now have four layers. Place each layer on a blank page. Then download as a PNG with a transparent background. Re-upload and organise the layers into the right order. Now Canva doesn't easily let you identify which layer you're working with, so a simple hack is to adjust the handles to remove dead space, but have the bottom layer with the widest margins and the top layer with the smallest margins. This means you can very quickly identify which layer you're working with. Select the red layer and go to the liquify tool, then play with the melt settings. Adjust until you have a liquidized shape that looks right. Make a note of those settings and click apply. Return to liquify then use the Whirl tool. Adjust the settings to make the top of the shape fuzzy. Repeat this process with each layer, being sure to use the same melt settings for each shape so they continue to trace each other. You may want to vary the Whirl settings on some layers. Set a dark background. Head to Adjust and play with the brightness, contrast, blur and other settings for each layer. Be sure to use a higher blur on red and a narrower blur on the other layers. Experiment with the other settings. And voila! A hand-drawn, semi-realistic fire created in Canva. If you enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on future videos coming soon.